In just 30 days, I went from my fusion designs looking like this to them looking like this. And here's how I did it. In the beginning, I just started out doing what I thought made sense. And looking back, oh my God, was I horribly wrong. But we'll get to that in a second. I'm generally uh, just teach yourself whatever you need to actually know with YouTube kind of person. So for example, I want to take an STL mesh file and want to make a fusion body out of that again. Sure, I'll just go on YouTube and figure out how to do it. And while that's generally a great approach, I realized that I really need to learn the basics with Fusion 360 first. As I said before, when I started using Fusion 360, I was doing so much stuff so horribly wrong in like the general way that I approached it. Just look at the stuff that I'm making here. It's this like insanely complicated thing that I designed with like one sketch layer and everything else was just like bodies and moving stuff around manually and then I don't even know how I managed to pull this whole thing off and while it worked it sure wasn't a pretty way to get there. And doing stuff as horribly as that I pretty sure it wasn't gonna go very far with my designing and that's why I really wanted to learn all the basics as fast as I could to then make something out of all my ideas. And then once you got the basics down, you can still learn whatever you need from YouTube videos. I'm gonna be honest, I just did that shot to see who was gonna get motion sick watching it, but so far it was me filming it. But now let's get back to how I actually learn Fusion. As someone who's more used to doing things in 2D, like drawing or Photoshop, it was hard to think in 3D space at first. But why would you want to learn Fusion or any CAD program for that at all? A lot of people might say there's so many free models out there, why would you waste hours of your time making your own? And that's definitely true, but I also think you're missing out on some of the biggest upsides of 3D printing. To me, it's that ability to truly make hyper-specific things that would otherwise be too niche to manufacture. But with 3D printing, you can easily make a part that literally only you need. It's stuff like this organizer for my toothbrush power bricks that fits perfectly in my cabinet. Even if you like the idea, your cabinet is likely different. So this is a one out of one piece. And it's these kinds of hyper-specialized solutions where you obviously can download them. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm super happy about all those models out there that are just ready to download and I do it a lot. But being able to make your own designs when you can't find any just gives you so much more possibilities. So I think it's worthwhile to be able to do that too. And that's why a year after I got my first 3D printer here, I wanted to be able to design and make my own things. So how did I actually start learning? For my journey from zero to kind of okay, I did the amazing and free Fusion 360 in 30 days from product design online. All right, so now we're starting with day number one. Day number one is done and I already learned a lot. Um, it went really deep into sketching and I've never really done sketching in Fusion 360. I just built stuff off of like volumetric bodies, which really is not the best way to do stuff. And this is exactly the kind of stuff like knowing how to really construct things and how to do it the right way is what I wanted to learn. And yeah, I'm really excited how this is gonna go. Honestly, thanks so much for this. And if you also want to learn, there's a link in the description down below to the course. Before learning this, I had no real way of aligning things and making them a certain distance from something. So this was already a huge improvement in my book. When I made this bracket for under my desk, I just eyeballed it and used the whole tool and then just kind of went with that. Sure, it ended up working perfectly, but it's far from professional. And especially with more complicated models, this won't do. <laughs> The real cool thing was that with every day and every lesson, I could really see myself improve and like also translate that into the real world. I'm on day number six now and the big thing I learned is still sketching, especially sketching on other surfaces to make an object from there and then also sketching dimensions where you can position things perfectly and all those things that really let you use the parametric timeline, which honestly is a game changer. And all of those things I didn't really do before or know how to do before. In general, I gotta say that it was really fun to learn this new way of thinking and designing. With the course that I did, I really liked the 10 to 15 minute length of the lectures because you could learn a little bit about a topic, but it wasn't super overwhelming and everything at once. What I also love is that almost every day I ended up with a finished model or project. 
So you have a little achievement at the end of that and you could even 3D print it if you want. And besides the course, I noticed the improvements in the things that I designed for myself already. For example, I started creating my own modules from my Gridfinity system, which I never could have done before. I even made a whole video about that, so check that out if you want to. But in general, after the first few days, I could already do so much more and had so much more possibilities. It was just a lot of fun. Also, I started to create much more complex 3D models. Something like this time-lapse apparatus for my Ender 3v3 KE is something I could have never made before. Don't get me wrong, this is a horrible design. It's sloppy and it barely works. But the point is, it works. You know, so while there was a lot to learn, the progress was definitely there. Also, before doing this, there were so many fusion tools that I never even knew existed. Things like the section analysis gave me so many new insights into how my objects would look and print eventually. Or another super important thing is importing existing models and then either modifying them or building parts that fit them perfectly. For example, I wanted to make a part that fit my bike attachment points. My old way would have been to measure it all out and then fully recreate the new model from scratch. But now I ended up just importing a model of the base and then designed my new model around that. Granted, it still took me like six prototypes to get the tolerances and clearances just right, but this was going to happen either way. So I really loved all these little new techniques that made so much possible that I never thought of before or that made my process just a lot faster. Today was day number 13 and was all about components and building things that has more than one component and honestly I'd have no idea how that works and but yeah, it's super important for doing like more specialized and more complex things. So this definitely is a really cool start. I had the idea to make an inner reflector for my lamp for a while, but I never had any idea or the tools to actually make it. But now knowing how to work with multiple components and the ability to project geometry from one part to another, this ended up being a lot easier than I imagined. In the end, I have this amazing thing that I couldn't find online either to buy or to download and print. And this is what learning fusion is all about for me. I just love creating custom solutions to my problems and getting at least semi-professional results. As my journey progressed, I learned that in the beginning you learn a lot of like really easy concepts that get you to do stuff really quickly. And then over time things get a lot more complicated and a lot more in depth where you really need to pay attention to know how to use it the right way. With stuff like multiple joints and how they move and interact and stuff like duplications and how they work together, I realized how many options there are but also how much there was still to learn for me. Holy moly, things are getting complicated. In the beginning, I was just running through these videos, doing live what he was doing in the video. Now I have to reverse and check so many times. I eventually got it done, but whew, wow. Some concepts like making molds made instant sense to me, whereas usable joints and all the different motion possibilities were pretty hard to get into for me. But now after 30 days, I definitely have a really good base and can do a lot of the stuff that I wanna do with 3D modeling. Don't get me wrong, there's still so much to learn and I'm making a ton of mistakes and not doing things right but I have a solid base that I have now and where I can go from here. And that's all I really want. But just looking at my models from the beginning, they were super crude and I couldn't do a lot of the ideas that I in my head to now, where I can already do so much more if I want to make for my apartment or for my friends. It's a night and day difference. As I said before, I know I'm really at the beginning of my journey still. I mean, I've been using Photoshop for like 15 years now and I'm still discovering new ways to do things and become better all the time. With Fusion, I still have to learn a lot about making sketching constraints and making fully parametric designs that don't completely fall apart if I change a value. Honestly, that's still a problem that I struggle with. When something either isn't properly constrained or it's constrained in the wrong place, and then I change something and everything moves in ways I didn't think, anticipate, or whatever, and I have no clue why and how to fix it. But I'm sure I'll get there with practice. And also I'm looking forward to making more complex models with moving parts like this controller holder. Stuff that currently I just can't make and right now I have some stuff to learn still. But for everything that I still can't make yet, there's so much stuff that I can now just do easily that I never could have done before just 30 days ago. 
like modifying this plate for my smart lock so it perfectly fits my door. So all in all, I'm super happy with my learning experience over the last 30 days. And if you're serious about 3D printing, I can only recommend at least learning the basics of 3D modeling as well. It's just the best way to get creative and solve super specific problems with your 3D printer. One quick thing while I'm editing this, Fusion 360 is free for personal use, so no excuses there. I've linked the free course from product design online below in the description. And I've also added two other courses that people said were good, but that I haven't done myself. So maybe you can just check each and see which works best for you. And also I wanted to say, if you like this video, but don't want to go back to doing productive stuff yet, you should watch this video that I made about multicolor AMS 3D printing.